Hey guys, Eric Hammond here with the Joy of Homesteading. I, on Wednesdays, I just like to uh, just show you something short that's going on around the farm. Right here, I am in my, uh, I'm gonna call it my electric fence training pen. So I have uh, a good permanent fence set up. There's about 7,000 square feet here that I run chickens through every day. And then this is part of where the sheep can go at night. Around the edges of it is a hot electric fence all the way around. And this serves as a pin to train these sheep that electric fence is bad and that they should not touch it and we should keep them in around the farm. So I've got three new ewes and a new ram. That guy right there, that cute guy, he's my new ram. Uh, and I'm training these new ewes and this new ram to electric fence. Around the farm, we just use two strands of just poly wire and that seems to keep them in. Uh, I've had this one, this black one and this white one here. They're coming on, uh, this is their second year on the farm. I keep them in a, just a run in here that's probably 12 foot wide and about 50 feet long. And then there's different gates that open up to different paddocks that I can let the sheep out in for options as to where I want them. And then they stay in here at night and then that's the training pen. So everybody new gets there. So what I'm basically doing for these new sheep is I've got a hay bale in here so they have something to eat. But I will, uh, so for the first week, I let them stay in here, eat off of this hay bale, give them fresh water so they know this is their home. And then I've been opening up this paddock every day uh, after that week. And I've let them out in the morning. And then before I go to work, I bring them all back in and I shut them up so that they learn the procedure of coming in and out of a paddock. And then... Basically, I'll be able to turn them out every day and then they can just go forage and eat and just make free meat and free babies. That's kind of the fence I'm talking about. So I just have two hot wires and they run this whole paddock. There's probably three acres back there. I uh, just wanted to show you my electric fence training pen just to get you some ideas of uh, what you might be able to do around your farm. I like to keep it short on Wednesdays. If you like this kind of thing, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and if you got any questions, go ahead and submit them. And then at the end of each week, I like to do a question and answer video, and we'll just get your questions answered for you. Thanks for watching.